everybody, I'm Rod Ferguson, the studio head at The Coalition. And I'm Matt Searcy, I'm the lead campaign designer on Gears 4. And we're here to show you the first 20 minutes of the game. Yeah. So you want to tell them about why we have a prologue? Sure. Uh, the prologue was about a few things for us. Um, one of the things we wanted to do was drop you right in the action. With a game like Gears, it's really important that we get you in there. And the way our story went, it was a good idea for us to use it also as a history lesson. So we're going to take the player back in time to some key battles from sort of the past of the Gears of War franchise. And then one of the other things we wanted to do is make sure we had a mission that was well structured for a tutorial so we could teach some core mechanics to anybody that was returning or coming new to the Gears franchise. And also we want to introduce you to First Minister Jin. She's a character that's going to go throughout the game and we want to establish her here. But So get ready for a trip down to Asheville Point, a battle against the UIR. You get to visit House of Sovereigns on E-Day and of course Anvil Gate at the end of the Locust War. So here, take a look. Finally today, in New Ephira, First Minister Jin commemorated the 25th anniversary of the end of the Locust War. Today, we are humbled by the presence of two generations of men and women who braved every danger, who fought the battles that made us what we are, including the most pivotal encounter of the Pendulum Wars, Ashbow Fields. Santiago! I'll spare you the inspirational speech, Private. You know what to do. Yes, sir. All right, let's do this. We take down those towers, cripple their communications, then raid the lab. Command wants the Hammer of Dawn, Command gets the Hammer of Dawn. All right, let's move! Uh. Ah. Move it, Gears! We're only gonna get one shot to extract those plans. Once we take down the comm towers, this entire base is cut off. Yes, sir. Ah. We've got Indies! Up top, take them out! Nice shot! Way to go, Brian! Come on, the Major's waiting! security gate. Push up! Machine gun nest! We're splitting up! You two take left!
Nice! Now get through that door! And don't mind the mess. You two, you have the security codes. Override that gate. Come on, man. And with that, this raid is officially underway. Let's go. All right, you know the drill. Eliminate the guards, get inside the lab, grab the plants. Then we ghost. So what does this hammer of dawn thing do? It wins the war. And if we do our job right, every system here is wiped. And the indie scientists get an offer they can't refuse. All right, we're in. Let's go. I can go. Labs up ahead. Take them out. Yes, don't love you! Open up, All right, we're in. Time to rendezvous with the Major. Come on! These indie scientists aren't too eager to meet us. Bruce! Be a deer and rip this door! Gears, listen up. If we're not out in ten minutes, abort mission and get the hell out of here. Okay, Santiago, time to meet our new friends. Right behind you, Major. Plans for the Hammer of Dawn, 
We ensured our survival in the worst conflict our world had yet known. But only two years later, a new horror, a new enemy, a new war. Uh, control, be advised. Divert the Colonel's convoy. Sorry, Corporal. We're almost there. Negative, negative control. The House of Sovereigns is a red zone. Corporal Kim, this whole city's a red zone. Understood, Control. Come on, Gears. Colonel Hoffman's convoy is gonna need protection. Corporal, we're coming in hot. Almost there, Control. Kim, sir. Lieutenant Stroud and I need an escort. Congratulations, you're it. Uh, Colonel, we need to get inside. Now. I've got the code for the door, Colonel. Well, good for you, son. Hold these stairs with that hammer. I'll be back when I can. Oh, man. This is bad. All right, you heard the corporal. Don't let him inside. They're coming right at us. Use the hammer! Oh shit, look out! Push him back! Push him back! We need some goddamn reinforcements! Not gonna happen! Keep fighting! This is insane! Do not let them near the door!
Sorry, but the Hammer of Dawn just went offline. By nightfall, hundreds of thousands were dead. Emergence Day had earned its name. Like many of you, I was only a child then. It was a dark, terrible time. And our victory was in no way assured. Soldier back on his feet. Good. All right, gears, get up that ladder. Boy, what happened? Come on up. Where the hell am I? Uh, uh. Shane saw your way out. Get on that wall. Holy shit. We gotta clear this hole! Phoenix finally ended our locust nightmare. He did it. How dearly I wish Sergeant Phoenix could be with us here today. Stop and think about the men and women whose sacrifices guaranteed our survival. Thanks to them, we fought through the long twilight. We built a new prosperity. 
The world the new COG has ensured knows no war, no suffering. It's a world of safety, of family, a world finally at peace. All right, there you go. That's the first 20 minutes of Gears of War 4. That's the prologue of Trip Down Memory Lane. Yeah, the prologue was really cool for us. We got to explore uh, some places the game has never been before, like the Pendulum Wars. We also got to reconnect with a bunch of the characters from the old games. Yeah, it was nice to see Dom again. Yeah. Um, and so from there, you get to go on to fighting robots, to fighting monsters in the middle of the night. I mean, it's a it's an, an epic journey with J.D., Kate, and Dell as they, they try to live and survive that one night with the swarm. Now, it comes out on October 11th, but if you get the Ultimate Edition, you can actually get early access and play on October 7th. And if you pre-order, we have a bunch of digital exclusives. Some of them I'm really excited about, like Old Man Marcus. Everybody loves Old Man Marcus. Yeah. <laughs> Tomorrow Anya. And, of course, Zombie Dom. Yeah, Dom's yeah. back. Another <laughs> way. <laughs> Another way. And uh, we have the Gold Wave Lancer and the Gold Wave Nasher and even a vintage Dell. So there's lots to get if you pre-order, and, and please do. And actually, you know, part of our cool things about the digital version of our game is if you get that, you actually get cross-play. And, and you'll be able to get it on console, you get it on Windows 10, they can play together in the co-op mode. So it's, there's a lot of great reasons to order digitally. So hopefully we'll see you online October 11th, and hey, Ultimate Edition, October 7th. See you then.